Hey you, are you experiencing slow boot up times on your PC? If so, you come to the right place. Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to speed up your boot up times on Windows. Fortunately, Windows operating system provides us with a tool which enables you to choose which programs start up with Windows. And that tool is called MS Config. Now, to get to that window, just go to Start, and in the search bar right here, type in msconfig, and you'll see the msconfig uh, icon pop up. Just click it or click Enter, and you'll get a system configuration window pop up. Now, this is everything you need to configure your startup programs and services. Now, the General tab you can just leave it like it like uh, it is. So let's go to the uh, real action. Let's go to the boot tab. Now here's uh, this thing right here. This box is a list of all operating systems installed on your computer. All of 99% uh, of you are probably going to have like just Windows installed, but some of you may have Linux, so it's going to be listed here. Now that's not really essential to what I'm talking about right now. But let's go to advanced options. So in this window, you can see this checkbox which says number of processors. If it's unchecked, check it and choose the maximum number possible. It refers to the number of cores your processor has and the number of cores your PC will use while starting up uh, Windows. All right, when you've done that, you can uncheck maximum memory. I actually have had some problems with this checked, so I I just uh, I just prefer to leave this unchecked. You can do what you want. Um, PCI lock and debug just leave unchecked. That's not something you need. Click OK, and this timeout is probably going to be on 30 seconds by default, but you can leave it. Uh, you can change it to free. Uh, in some cases, it's going to uh, make you wait uh, like a less amount of time so yeah you can do what you want doesn't matter this isn't really essential again so let's go to the services tab now this is very important this is uh, the list of all services that are installed on your computer and th that are starting up with Windows operating system now some of them are essential to running Windows itself, so you have to be careful about which services you will check and which ones you will uncheck. Now, if you're unsure of what a service does, just leave it checked, because you might run into some problems and you really don't want that to happen. So I'm going to provide you with, with uh, a, li a list of services that you can um, uncheck freely without any concern. Um, and yeah, so you can do what you want here. I mean, some of the services you might want to have checked, for example, uh, just do what you want. It's it's your choice, really. Uh, I have my own services that I haven't checked. Maybe you need Bluetooth, so you'll have checked. I don't know. Your choice. Next, go to startup, and here's a list of all the programs that are installed on your computer and that are starting up with Windows. Now, you probably won't need any of these to start up immediately after you launch your computer, right? I prefer to leave only your antivirus program checked, which for me is Advanced System Care Ultimate, and I really don't need anything else, but again, like for the services, it's your choice, uh, and also here there aren't any essential programs that are needed for running Windows, so you don't you don't have to be concerned about which ones to uncheck or leave checked, right? Uh, and yeah, that's it. So when you've chosen your startup programs, your startup services, you can just click Apply, click OK. And you're probably, you are probably going to get a window pop-up which says do you want to restart your computer now or later? It's your choice, of course, and 
that's really it you've you've done a great job you uh, immediately after the next restart or reboot you're going to experience much faster boot up times I assure you so yeah it's a very simple tutorial hope you guys um, enjoyed this video I hope this video helped you if it did leave a like I really appreciate it it helps me it helps my channel and also if I can improve something in my videos just leave a comment on that um, that will also be very um, sorry it would also be very helpful so yeah thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye